Good morning everyone, how are you doing today? Um, my name is Megan and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a baby haul. I love watching these kind of videos on YouTube and I recently bought Sophia a bunch of stuff so I thought I would do a video and show you guys what I got. These are all things from a local thrift store and then what I couldn't find there we ordered off of Amazon. It's kind of over several orders over the last several weeks, it's not one big order so I've been kind of saving it up to show you all at once. So let's dive in. So first I'll show you what Sophie is wearing because she'll probably get impatient with me soon. Um, I ordered some onesies and pants off of Amazon because um, she was getting way too big for her clothes. So here's just one of the outfits. It's like a teal striped shirt with an owl on it that says, I will always love you. And some gray pants with ruffles on the back. It's a little bit big on her. Um, it's six to nine months size, um, but because she wears cloth diapers, I have her in clothes that are a little bit too big so that the cloth diapers don't stretch them out. And she'll be able to wear these for a long time, um, get plenty of use out of them. And then I also got her one of these little amber teething necklaces. Um, she's not, she doesn't have teeth coming through yet, but she's been drooling a lot and I know it's imminent. And she also recently had thrush, and so these just kind of help with pain in general. So I think I noticed a huge difference once I had her wearing it. Um, so yeah, it just um, is around her neck during the day. And then at night, I wrap it around her ankle just to be safe. I don't, I would not be very comfortable leaving it on her neck at night. So I'm just gonna lay her down here and show you the rest of the stuff. Are you gonna help? Are you gonna help? Beep, beep, beep. <gasps> so next up we have um, some more onesies. These are the same the same kind she was just wearing. They're the Simple Joys Carters. Six to nine months. We have some owls, flower print, a pink one with a turtle that says adorable. Um, another darker floral print, I really like this one. Um, and then a gray one that says mommy is wild about me. Um, and then I got a four pack of the same brand, same size of pants that I can kind of, you know, mix and match with those uh, onesies. There's a pink one with ruffly bottom. Um, one's dark navy with white polka dots with ruffles on the back here and then a light pink with ruffles on the bottom hem again um, and then for my thrift store finds here's um, the clothes I bought from there I found this cute little bumblebee onesie it's kind of like a shirt but with the onesie built in so that'll be really cute it's um, 12 to 18 months um, so it'll be a little while before she can wear it, but I'm kind of stockpiling clothes um, for when she's older so that I have them for when I need them. Um, this one is nine months, so she'll be able to wear this soon. And um, by the time she can wear it, it should be warm enough for her to wear it. It's this little kind of jumpsuit with a, an owl poking out of the pocket here. And then I got some nice fleecy pajamas because I'm going to be transitioning her out of the swaddle so I wanted some pajamas that will keep her nice and warm so that she doesn't need any loose blankets in her crib that are going to be dangerous. So this one is just like a sack. It's zero to nine months so she'll be able to wear it now and for a long time. Um, this one is six months. Owls. And then this one is nine months. Got a snowman on it. Um, I also ordered her some new sheets because she's going to be moving into her crib now. She's getting a little bit big for the bassinet. Um, she just seems, you know, to, to want to move around more at night. So I bought her some sheets for her crib. This first one is just like a waterproof cover that'll this will be underneath the sheets but just in case she has a diaper leak or spits up I wanted to protect her mattress um, and then I got two um, 
organic cotton Burt's Bees sheets. This one's like a gray buffalo plaid. And then this one is my favorite. Super cute. It's got little bumblebees on it. So two sheets should be enough. They're 100% organic cotton. They're super soft. Um, I got a neutral color so that we can use them for all of our kids. If we have a boy eventually, we won't have to buy new sheets. And I got the nicer ones just so that they would last a bit longer. So then next up here we have some toys. Um, she is drooling a ton now and I think she's starting to teethe. So I bought her some teething toys. This one is actually from the thrift store. I got it at the... I was checking out and they had this rack of all these teething toys and I just could not resist. This thing was so cute. Little fox and this one is a wooden ring with kind of like a crocheted thing around it. Um, yep, that one's super cute. And then this one I got off of Amazon. This one's better for her than this bigger one right now just because it's a little more manageable for her to hold on to and bite. The other one will be a little bit better once she's bigger and can kind of, um, you know, handle things by herself better. And then this necklace came with her amber teething necklace. It was kind of just a little freebie they threw in. This is actually for mom to wear. Um, so while I'm holding her, she has something to play with that's not going to break. She can chew on it. She can play with it while she's nursing so that she doesn't get distracted because she's getting to the age where things distract her while she's breastfeeding. Um, so this is really nice. It was really nice of them to throw that in. Um, then we also have this little keychain. These are just like kind of rubber. You throw them in the freezer. You can chew on them. Um, she really likes this a lot. Um, and then I got this little banana toothbrush. Someone had recommended this. Um, the bristles are just like silicone. Um, they said that this would be, like, they use it for their kids for just like getting them used to the idea of a toothbrush. Like you wouldn't brush their teeth with this, but they're just kind of familiar with the, you know, idea of a toothbrush. So I'll let you guys know if it helps her want to brush her teeth more when she gets to that age, but she really likes chewing on these little silicone bristles, so that's nice. And then I got these um, chains for her binkies because I kind of I kind of ruined her last binky chain. Um, it was kind of a leathery material, and she had just had the brush, and so I was sterilizing her binkies, and I forgot to take the chain off, and I boiled it, and it kind of fell apart. So. Um, I bought some new ones. Um, these are also teething toys. They're little silicone toys, so they double as teething toys and binky chains, which is really nice. And then I, I got I got four binkies. I don't I don't know where the other one is, but I bought four binkies. I ended up throwing away all of her other binkies after she had thrush because I didn't want any chance at all of her getting it again. So yeah, that's basically all I think. Can you beat me? One second, bye. So let me know if you enjoyed the video. Uh, leave down in the comments some of your favorite finds for your babies. Um, and I will see you next time. Bye. Do you want to say goodbye? <laughs> look at the camera. Oh, she's found the window. Look at the camera. Oh, look. There's baby. Can you say bye? <gasps> oh, you are looking at yourself. Oh, bye-bye. <laughs>